Bailey School, the place where thousands of international young figures have spent their school days while studying for a unique education in a unique setting. The students come from a truly international background. Well over 30 nationalities are represented at La Rose. This international range of parents, guests and friends is well illustrated by their arrival on this special day. July the 2nd, 1983 was a glorious day and parents, students and friends mingled in the beautiful grounds of this lovely old school. Great emphasis is given to sport here. Skiing in the winter, rowing and sailing on the nearby lake in the summer, and several ball games, particularly tennis, the finals of which take place on graduation day. Swimming too, all students compete for school prizes. Some will never be professionals, of course, but the enthusiasm at this famous school among this very wide range of students is evident. Two hours out of every day at the Rose, in fact, are devoted to sport. It is part of the school's thinking. A good, strong, healthy body creates a good, strong mind. Graduation day means a get-together for parents, students, brothers and sisters, and family friends. It is part of the school tradition that a beautiful book which is published every year is given to each school leader. Each one is signed by as many fellow students as possible. One of the most internationally known families of all at the Rose must be that of Adnan Khashoggi. Four of his sons, Mohammed, Khalid, Omar, and Hussein, have been or are students. All are very close with sister Nabila. It is in fact a day of great importance for the whole Khashoggi family, including father Adnan Khashoggi, who with his eldest son Mohammed is there with family friends. The strong ties of warmth and affection which unites this family is obvious. Their sense of humor shows the free and happy attitude to life which has been woven into their makeup. But the star of the day is Khalid, second son, who is to graduate and is in line for prizes from the headmaster of the school. The warmth between father and sons, brothers and sister, friends and relations, bubbles to the surface as the atmosphere of the day predominates the occasion. The Khashoggi family is in good company. La Rose, once known as the School of Princes, boasts many international figures amongst its past pupils. The Shah of Persia, the Aga Khan, Prince Rainier of Monaco, King Boudin of Belgium, and the Duke of Kent. Today, 11 languages are included in the school curriculum. Today's events include lunch prior to the prize giving, a menu of mouth-watering dishes to serve the palates of this really international gathering. It is a far cry from the days of the original Chateau Rosé. Most of the original 14th century chateau was destroyed during the Middle Ages, but parts of it remain and have been incorporated in the present building. Of today's 300 odd pupils, more than 100 are girls. Edmund Khashoggi, deep in conversation with his son, blends with the sea. Surely more languages are spoken at this annual event than at most occasions in the world. The headmaster is about to distribute prizes to the school leaders. A brief speech precedes the distribution. 
And I wonder if we would go into the end of the year, if it is the 12th year, we're meaning the president of the world in 1989. If you were to reach me, you see no Among the numerous chapters in the world of age one, which most of it has contributed to its success, the community. In over a century, our school has had about three generations of general directors. One, for instance, an American private school has a general director every seven years. It's known that the increase hired Bob Mara to speak to photographs the occasion. Although, as we'd like, as the head of the same institution, is probably marking. The headmaster had warmly applauded as of each student who goes to collect his or her prize. But the most spontaneous cheer of the day warmly accompanies Halid Khashoggi as he goes up to receive the first of his prizes from the headmaster. The moment is deeply felt by those near and dear to him, not least by the family nanny. It is a moment for reflection, for warmth and general admiration. Many friends and relatives are happily eager to record the occasion for posterity, and a very modest hurried, somewhat reluctantly, becomes the center of attraction. It is a mark of reward for all his school day efforts. Family photographs are the order of the day, and Hallid again quietly complies. <laughs> One of the family's closest and oldest friends, Bob Shaheen, known to all as Uncle Bob, together with his own daughter, Suraya, also a student at the Rose, largely escaped from the crowd. <laughs> It was indeed a memorable day for the Khashoggi family, and particularly for Hallard, who received the highest award of the school, the cup for the star faculty shield, and another as best school athlete. The star faculty shield is a unique award. It is the prize presented to the student who portrays in the eyes of those who are judged the award, someone upon whom one can count at all times, the best all-rounder. It is a day which he can file as a high spot in his memory bank. A very famous school, a beautiful location, and a glorious day. What more could be asked to balance this memorable day in the life of Halei Khashoggi and his family?